Well, with those severe storms hitting close to home, meteorology students from Western Illinois and Northern Illinois universities wanted to host a preparedness event for Quad Cityans. Local 4's Morgan Breezemaster was there earlier today. And Morgan, like we were just talking about, you know, it's easy to not really realize how unprepared you are for something like that. We were talking about how I was in DeWitt um, earlier on Thursday, heard the sirens going off, didn't know whether I should pull over or stay in my car or try and find shelter. It was definitely, you know, a scary situation. Right, Ashley, I had a similar experience as at the business center on Thursday. When I heard those sirens go off, I didn't know what to do, but officials today shared with us that just like me, um, you know, you can change batteries in your smoke detectors twice a year. You can plan for those natural disasters. There should always be a plan for severe weather. Moline Fire Battalion Chief Kevin Irby says preparing for floods and tornadoes is usually an afterthought. Well, to practice a fire plan or a fire drill in your home, people might think that that is silly until they have lived through a fire in their house. He and others at the event today stressed the importance of preparing. We use the daylight savings time change as our benchmarks. He recommends planning a time with your family in spring to prepare for severe thunderstorms and tornadoes and again in the fall in preparation for snowstorms and power outages. The Quad Cities has been fortunate that we have not had a direct hit with a tornado and so people might be complacent thinking it, it may not happen. But when it does, then it's too late. So With recent weather events from around our area, students from the American Meteorological Society found the urgency to inform Quad Cityans about how they can protect themselves and those they're with, no matter where you are. If you do not have basically a storm shelter, you would then use the storm shelter as your safe place. If you have needles as the option, you would then go in the bathtub with the mattress pulled over yourself in order to protect your body. But it comes down to being ready every day. And we don't know when they're going to happen. So it's very prepared now for when the before the event comes. This way you can take action when the event is occurring and you'll be saving lives that way. Just as they said, you can never be too prepared. Find a lot more advice on these weather from these weather experts on, in a web extra on our website at ourquadcities.com. Morgan Breesmaster, Local 4 News at 10. Morgan, thank you. And our